The bomb tower is only one of two defenses that were added separately into the game without a new town hall, with the only other one being the air sweeper, which I already made a video about. The bomb towers are interesting as they have been out for over 8 years, but have never received a single nerf. And today, we're going to be looking at why they have never received a single nerf, and why Supercell will most likely never nerf them in the near future. But real quick, make sure to follow me on Twitter as I'll be posting often and doing giveaways on their soon and let's see if we can get it to 100 followers. But anyways, back to the video. The bomb tower was added in October of 2016 and it was unlockable at Town Hall 8. This was a really unique defense since it actually resembled a troop in the game, which was the balloon. They both behaved pretty much the same since both of them were essentially just a skeleton throwing bombs at the things below it and they both also did damage once they died. But the tower obviously couldn't move or fly and just like the balloon, the bomb tower would go on to have a massive impact on the game. It would end up becoming the missing puzzle piece that the game needed since the bomb tower, similar to the air sweeper, was added out of necessity. You see, around this time, the mass hog rider attacks were absolutely taking over the game and they were causing massive balance issues within the game. The biggest problem with them was their health since they had quite a lot and with people using heal spells and healers, the hog riders basically had two or three lives and this made it easy for them to just run through every single base. Before the bomb tower, Supercell had tried to nerf them by making it so giant bombs did extra damage to them and they also reduced their health multiple times and while this made them weaker, it just wasn't enough. And if they continued making direct nerfs to the hog riders, then players wouldn't be too happy since the hog riders are obviously one of the most iconic troops in the game and at the time, they were also the most unique and fun to play with. So the best way for Supercell to bring balance was to indirectly nerf them and and that nerf was the addition of the bomb tower. And it was even kind of masked since they removed the extra damage by the giant bombs in the same update, meaning that initially players thought they were getting a buff, but it was the exact opposite. In fact, the addition of the bomb tower is really what made the mass hog rider strategy almost irrelevant at the time. This strategy was really popular around 10 all 7 to 9 because at 10 and 11, you will get the inferno towers and eagle artillery, and both of those just weren't good at all for the hogs. And like I mentioned earlier, the bomb tower was unlockable at Town Hall 8 and the only splash defenses at this Town Hall were the mortars, wizard towers, and the bombs. And I made a video talking about the mortars, so basically we know that they weren't all that helpful, especially because of how fast the hog riders were. The wizard towers were alright, but they were a little too slow. And it was really the little bombs and giant bombs that were the main counter to the mass hog riders because of the splash damage and so the bomb tower was the perfect addition. It was basically like a trap but it had infinite ammo and it was really good at dealing a ton of splash damage to a bunch of hog riders which is exactly what the game needed. The bomb towers were really good at finishing off the hog riders after the other defenses had dealt a ton of damage since people normally put the bomb towers by giant bombs so the hog riders could get finished off before the attacker had a chance to heal them. And despite their only being one, it was good enough to make the attack so much harder that it just wasn't worth it for people to do it anymore for Town Halls 8 and 9. And because of this, some people also just didn't bother using it at Town Hall 7. Also, the fact that you unlock the second bomb tower at Town Hall 10 probably helped with people not using that strategy at that level as well. And interestingly, that would also be the last one you would unlock as even at Town Hall 16, you only have two bomb towers in total. But anyways, after this whole downfall of the whole hog rider meta, the bomb towers had kind of lost their purpose. I mean, they were still really useful just to have as an additional defense against ground troops, especially spammy armies but their main purpose had kind of been lost. And that is a reason why they never got nerfed or really got any sort of balance changes in their early days, unlike most other things in the game. However, they would soon start to become much more important again, and this is what will lead them to never getting a nerf. So, just a few months after the bomb tower came out, the hog riders got buffed on two separate occasions where they got a noticeable increase to their health. And while it wasn't as high as before, it was still good enough. 
enough, especially because two more levels had been added in that time. And at the same time, another troop was also getting some changes, and that was the miner. It got health buffs and was also made stronger at Town Hall 10 since you could add one more level to it. And maybe it wasn't right away, but in June of 2017, a new attack strategy was being born for the higher Town Hall levels. And this was a hard rider and miner hybrid attack. It wasn't all that popular right away, but there was no doubt that people had started using it, and it was mainly a strategy for tunnels 10 and 11. But in June of 2018, Tunnel 12 came out and this added a new bomb tower level as well as a slight buff to its damage. And this update also added a new hog rider and minor level and I'd say it was really Tunnel 12 where the hybrid attacks started to really come to light and become popular. And because of this, the bomb tower once again became a very important and key part of the game. And the reason it was so good against both of these troops was because both of them were melee troops, meaning they had to get right next to the bomb tower to destroy it and this would give the tower time to attack them while they were coming up on it and also while they were destroying it plus once it did end up getting destroyed all the troops would be right next to it meaning they would also get hurt by the bomb that the tower leaves after dying which was just even more damage and oftentimes could be enough to actually kill quite a lot of them but as we all know and as i've talked about a million times town hall 12 was really the town hall for electro dragons meaning that the hybrid attack wasn't the most popular and in the grand scheme of things it just wasn't too important at this town hall but that would change over the years when town hall 13 came out in december of 2019 the electro dragons had become just a little less popular because of the scatter shots and the miners and hog riders had gained a new level but the bomb tower did not the hybrid strategy has suddenly started being used quite a bit more now and it was showing signs of being really strong so just two months Months after Tunnel 13 came out, Supercell made a massive buff to the bomb towers, so they got more health, did more damage, and also did more damage even after they died. And once again, the bomb tower had kind of become the one thing in between this strategy becoming too powerful. So obviously, Supercell would never nerf it. And its purpose grew even stronger at Tunnels 14 and 15, since I'd say those were probably the two main town hall levels where people were really using the hybrid attack, and where the other more popular attacks in the past didn't seem to work as well. And if you looked at a lot of war attacks or just attacks in general, you really saw how abundant the hybrid strategy was, especially at Tunnel 15. And despite there obviously being way more defenses and things in the game now compared to when the bomb tower was first added into the game, it was still really the piece of the puzzle that kind of kept everything contained and made the hybrid attack just good instead of completely overpowered. And if Supercell were ever to nerf the bomb towers, then this hybrid strategy would most likely start to take over the game at possibly just about every town hall level. And that would not be good for the game at all, since we already saw how it was in 2016 with the mass hog riders. But even outside of the hog riders, the bomb towers still do play important roles in other places, with another being with skeletons, and also the witches since they kind of go hand in hand. There would be a rise in these mass witch armies, where the main point was obviously the hordes of skeletons they spawned in, since with enough of them, they could deal a ton of damage very quickly. But the bomb tower, along with other splash defenses, could put an end to them very quickly because it would really take one or two shots at most to kill large groups of these skeletons. So the bomb towers were pretty essential in making sure that the witches didn't completely take over as well. Also, the bomb towers could be effective against the super wizard blimp attacks because the death damage of the bomb tower was enough to kill them in most cases. So if you place the bomb tower where someone would send the blimp and it ended up falling right on the bomb tower, then that was a really effective counter against that army. So overall, the bomb tower was really proven to be one of the most key defenses in the game, despite it not really standing out or being as popular as most of the other defenses in the home village. And due to it being added to the game as a necessity and not just like a fun new defense along with the new town hall, it is really unlikely that it will ever get a nerf because it has proven to be vital in keeping the game balanced and fun to play for everyone.